So, I was really counting on you to have seen uh, Infinity War by this time we recorded this. But why, at this point in our lives, why do you count on me to do anything? You know, this is a good question. It's I guess so that's it, really on you. It more is than my it fault. Is on me. You're right. It is my fault. <laughs> um. So we, I was intending to talk about ready, or not ready player one. I was intending to talk <laughs> about Infinity War, yes. but so I think I can, I think I can clarify one of the main issues that people had with my review. The uh, people are clamoring. There was a lot of people really upset about it. Like we're losing lots of sponsors. I think we're <laughs> down to one. I, I was told I don't even deserve to see Marvel movies. <laughs> uh, Which I've been saying for years. Yeah. I, I told the guys like, Hey, I paid my money. Like yeah. I did my like, side what, of what the deal. What have to do to like earn that? Yeah. Just be alive and pay, right? Not I, even really be alive. Just give money. You, you earn this. So I, I actually, I posted the review onto the, uh, the podcast feed. But it was originally uploaded onto YouTube, which I think might make more sense. There's like my, uh, acoustic paneling was falling yeah. down behind me the entire inner uh, review. <laughs> like there would just be one or two panels that would just randomly fall off because the double sided tape I had did not help. Nice. Uh, and so I referenced that a few times throughout the review and I, it, I don't know if it makes sense just in the audio, but. Ah, uh, okay. One of the things. And I've already talked to you, Taylor, about it. That I got wrong was I thought Spider-Man said that he was from the future. And it turns out he said he was from a fill trip. (laughs) (laughs) Which, okay, so I, I thought he was just minutes from the future. I thought he went back just a couple minutes to fix a mistake and that was it. Like, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I didn't think it was that pivotal, but when they never referenced it, I was like, Oh, this must mean more to the story than they let on. Oh, a lot of people told me how dumb I was for doing that. (laughs) That is fantastic. Um, but yeah, so I get it. I understand I was wrong about that. I, I think the rest of my points are still pretty solid. I think the things that I liked and disagreed with still fit, even though that one thing was wrong. Mm. But Taylor has not seen it. So that's about as far as I can go into it. (laughs) Until next time. I did have someone ask. They said, why, why are you whispering? Great video, anyways. <laughs> Edit. Were you whispering? I didn't think so. I was talking just like I am. I think... I, I, okay, because I've been wondering the same thing. <laughs> I think part of it is, uh one, I'm not really that animated when I speak, and so maybe it seems like I'm whispering. <laughs> Two, my room is really echoey, so I'm, I'm like right up against the mic, and so if I'm like... Uh really loud it's gonna blow it out and mess the levels all up so i I, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say i'm whispering but I, i'm not talking i'm not like projecting he's, right he's muted <laughs> and uh the third thing is i think youtube is catered towards kids which is like very animated very like Hey, like, oh, in your face with everything. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think in, in comparison to all that other stuff, it seems like I'm very subdued. Like I just took NyQuil or something when I'm talking about this stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, and up until this point though, they were one of our sponsors. We did lose them in the process. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they're like, you are making our product look boring. (laughs) And our product just puts people to sleep. I love NyQuil. It's my favorite thing when I'm sick. That's like, oh, yeah. I get, when I get sick, I'm kind of excited. I'm like, ah, I get to ah, take NyQuil. Finally, <laughs> now I can justify the NyQuil. <laughs> um, 
again, I, I, did I say it on here or was it before where people were telling me that I, I don't deserve to even see I Marvel think, films? I think it was on here. Okay. But yeah, so yeah, if I didn't say that, that yet. That is great. <laughs> I'm going to say that for every movie we talk about going forward. It's, it's, it's an, it's an insane idea of because I don't like something or I'm not as invested as someone else. Like, I've seen every single Marvel movie other than the second Thor. That's the only one I missed. Which is so weird to me that you... It's like, at this point, have you gone out of your way to not see it? I've... I've. It's a good one. I mean, it's decent. It's better than the first one. Well, that's, that's a really low bar. <laughs> a bar, nonetheless. <laughs> um... I, I don't know. It, I wasn't really, let's see, when Thor 2 came out, it was right around, right after the Avengers, the first Avengers came out, right? Um, I want to, s- yes. It's definitely in phase two. I don't remember exactly oh, for where, sure. where in line it came out, but I had just seen Thor 1 and it was terrible. So I was just like, ah, I don't really care. And we didn't have a movie theater in town. So when it went, came out in theaters, I didn't really have an option other than driving four hours to go see it. And that was not even like a consideration to me at that point. Not appealing. And so then it came out and I just never saw it. Yeah. But, uh, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'm sure we'll get to it in a little bit here on, uh, our Patreon Marvel movies expedition. Uh, but yeah, so I, I've seen 17 of these movies. Mm. Most of them I've seen in theaters. I've, yeah. I've purchased a few of them. So like, I'm, <laughs> Whoa. well, like the point is I'm, I'm not only invested with my time, but I'm invested with my money and I've right. invested a lot of time talking about it with you and with other people and like, going back and forth about what could happen. So the idea that because I don't like it, because I think they're bad, because I think they're lazy, I don't deserve. It really got to you. (laughs) It did. I don't deserve (laughs) to be able to watch them. It's insane to me. I don't know. I, I, when you showed me that, I just, it, I figured it's one of the just, uh, fanboy fanatics. They'll just defend whatever. Yeah. He probably well, hasn't even seen it. That guy, the, this one specific guy hated me. Hated <laughs> me so much. He was commenting on everyone else's comments about how dumb I was. And I was just like, oh, all right. Geez. So I just blocked him completely. I was like, this is not worth oh. even keeping you around. Oh man. But. That's funny. We will talk about Ready or, oh, <laughs> Infinity War. Uh, you next really week, want to get to Ready Player One. We'll talk about that next week after Taylor has seen it, and nobody cares about it anymore. Uh, yes. But speaking of things people don't care about, Taylor finally saw Ready Player One. I did. And? I did not think it was that bad. Really? I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't good. Amazing. It but it was pretty. Good. I thought it. Was, I thought it was good. I, I thought it was good. All right. Well, tell me what you think about it. Um, I first, I don't, I didn't care for. Oh, this is a bad start. Most of the, you're, most you're of the starting out with things characters. you don't care about. That's a good sign that it's not a yeah, good movie. To get, to get these couple things out of the way. Okay. All right. Um, well, okay. I didn't care for the main character. Yeah. He's I thought obnoxious. He, also in the book. Just, yeah. Terrible. And I'll tell you why. Oh, Go for it. It's because he doesn't have a hard time. He, everything, yeah. everything he does, everything they show you him doing, like I'm sure he struggled for the first five years or whatever of the Oasis or after Halliday died. But yeah. everything they show you of him in the movie, he is doing everything without complication. No issues, no roadblocks. He is knocking it down everything they set in front of him. And it's it's not fun to watch. Well, what, what would you rather just see him get beat down into the ground until he's way dead? more, way more than what <laughs> yeah, they did. Boy. I'd rather see him struggle. Yeah, it it was one of those words like uh, you can tell things are too easy. 
But, I mean, you know, whatever. It still gets to the end where you know they're going to succeed. Conflict. Um, Conflict is vital in stories. But go ahead. Okay. Let, let's, <laughs> let, let me ask you this. Is okay. there any part of this movie that you did like? Any scenes? Any Anything? I did like when the Iron Giant fell in the lava and gave a thumbs up and there was an homage to Terminator 2. I appreciated that moment. That of felt, course you would. That felt special. As if there's anything that I know about you is that you hate Ready Player One and you love Terminator 2. <laughs> um, no, I, I didn't like the characters. I didn't enjoy the story. I didn't find any of it believable. Uh, I feel like that first clue that he figured out to go backwards. Yeah. My brother would have figured that out. My brother. Okay. Sorry, Nicholas. I'm thinking of you when you're like eight, not you 20 now. (laughs) Because 20 now, probably not figure that out. Definitely. He would not be able to figure it out. But on accident, when he was eight years old, he would have been able to figure that out. No problem. Um, I did figure that out when I was a kid because there was a level in uh, Donkey Kong on the Super Nintendo. Uh-huh. I, I, I want to say it was it was the second one. Um, <clears throat> it's one of the Mind Track uh, levels. You know they have them in each one. Yeah. But this one, if you when you start, if you you can go backwards, and it's like un- this unprecedented thing. And then you get like a couple bonuses and then it like shoots to the end of the level. I, what I want you to do when we're done recording this is go on yes. YouTube, look up GDQ, games done quick, uh, Donkey Kong Country reverse boss order. Reverse boss order? Yes. What is that? They beat the bosses from the last one all the way backwards until the first one. Okay. It, but why? Uh, because it's really difficult to do. But the point is, they manipulate the game with the character on the screen by inputting code based on where the character stands and how he jumps and does certain things mm-hmm. to transfer from level 1-1 one, one to the final boss. And then they are able to transfer backwards to all the bosses and win that way. Hmm. And there is not $500 billion on the line. (laughs) I don't understand what you're getting at. People break video games so efficiently for very little reward. So you're saying that that should have been done in this movie? A hundred percent it should have been done. There's people way Don't smarter than Parzival that would have been was... able to break it down way before he oh, did. Oh, you mean figure out going backwards? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like cheat the code or something. I Like that That would might be difficult. I could see how that would be harder. But I'm saying they, they break the code in these video games and these... Uh, speed running games. Yeah. By just doing everything. Yeah. You know what I that mean? That part, I, I don't like that he was the first ever to figure that out because that's, that's not that crazy, right? Yeah. So, especially when that other company has teams, mm-hmm. you know, working towards being, it, I, it, it should have been, there should have been like a good handful of players that like beat it and they went on and then were never heard from again. Yeah. Yeah, like and they the, just were never able to finish their, their quest. Should've... And maybe even throughout the movie, you could be like, oh, this guy got this far. And then this other person, he made it all the way to this. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with you. There should have been other people who had figured it out. But So like, I, 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 I do agree with that point. When Parzival figured it out, he told his friends, and they became the yeah. high five, which... <laughs> stupidest name ever and also in the book they high five each other a lot and it's really obnoxious when they do it was Uh, this book written by a child uh like a 12 year old boy but it it was the the, so i listened to the audiobook which was done by will wheaton 
Oh. And mm-hmm. it was, it was tough. I don't, I don't care for Will Wheaton. <laughs> I don't have a problem with him in general, but, uh, in this book, the character was so obnoxious and he seemed very pretentious. And, uh, I was gonna say he, he is and he's got a very punchable face. <laughs> well, I didn't see his face listening to him on an audiobook, but I, I, I that's, I trust you. That's your loss. <laughs> Well, but anyway, you've sorry. Seen him though, right? Yeah, I've seen him. I don't. Yeah. It's I a punchable face. I feel like I've hijacked your review of Freddy Player One. I didn't. I didn't mean to. I didn't like much of it. That was your question. Uh, okay. So yeah. So there's nothing that you did like. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. Um, which is usually you hate things that aren't practical. Well, yeah, the, like so you'd be upset that they didn't use a real iron giant. <laughs> no, I, it, it, I mean, I, I do prefer practical over CGI, but since it was in the world, it's video games, like yeah. the when Ty Sheridan was himself when he was Wade Watts, not Parzival, I think the world yeah. was amazing. I think that all that stuff looked really great, the stacks yeah. and everything outside of the world. I thought the detail to all that was great. All the stuff in game intentionally looked like a video game. And so right. you, you can't blame them for that, but it still, it, it just, yeah. it looked like that. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't like, Oh wow, this is amazing. It was just, okay. Yeah. I get it. Like, and <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know. Like maybe if I, if I, did it myself if I, you know, did CGI and like computer graphics and all that stuff, I would appreciate yeah. it a lot more. I'd be like, oh yeah, no, that would be really difficult. Yeah. But that shouldn't be a prerequisite to enjoying something. No. You know what I mean? Like, I shouldn't have to know how difficult it is. Yeah. So anyway, again, I feel like I'm hijacking your, your review. I've talked about Ready Player One well. quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think probably probably my favorite scene was uh all the shining stuff. Yeah. I did I did really enjoy that. I thought that was funny and 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 done well. Until the zombie uh, dancing, right? Well, yeah, because that's not part of it, which they even said, but that was strange. Um what I really liked that, though and it, Sorry, that, again, that was beautiful. It was a. It looks good. It looked just like the movie. Like yeah. it looked. Oh, it man. looked better than the movie did. It looked I, like they filmed honest, on set. Now the, uh, with good cameras. I almost thought that they were like using movie footage and just like mm. combining them, you know, so yeah. it so it would look like yeah, like when you see the uh, the twins or the scene when he's in the room it with the the girl in the bathtub. Yes, she. That was Taylor. that's yeah, a girl. Sorry. Although, People were people were freaking out about that, about it being transphobic, somehow. Which which part being transphobic? Uh, H, which is also A C H E. No. They're just oh, well, the just really? <laughs> Yeah, it's not just the letter. It's just H for Helen. Well, the, it's A C H E, I believe H, something like that. It's spelled out. Oh. I don't, I didn't even pick up on that. Well, no, it's in, it's in the IMDb, but it doesn't really matter. Oh. Uh, uh yeah, I, I had a feeling that it was, uh, a girl already. Yeah. But either way, um, so I thought that was, uh, pretty good. It looked just like the movie and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but one of my favorite lines was when they first get there and the dude's like, or sorry, H. Whatever you want to call him, or <laughs> I don't was care. like it, you're like, not gonna I haven't me. seen The Shining. Is it scary? And then uh, the other character was like, ah, I had to watch it through my fingers, <laughs> or you know what? And then yeah. you find out later because it's like that kid's like ten years old. Yeah. Well, was it he, was it the the ten year old or was it his brother? Who I'm pretty said, sure it was the the little kid. I was like, oh, because it, it made me think back. I was like, that's why he watched The Shining through his fingers. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh. Have you seen The Shining? Yes. It's not that creepy, right? Like, it's not like you yeah, have to watch not, it through your fingers. Scary. No, it's no, but it, it, 
it's got the just the quiet moments that and then like uh you know the jump scares yeah like the axe coming through the door which got me on this one too now i i, I don't mean to argue your use of jump oh scare <laughs> but i would almost say that that's not quite a jump scare because that's a jump scare i would say is something that's more along the lines of a loud noise and then like there's a cat who's up on the countertop that scared the person. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm probably not using it right. I, no, no, I'm more thinking is the I, scary part is is the sound I, more than what you're seeing on the screen. Yeah, yeah it's startling. I think you are right. I, I, I'm not saying that. I wasn't trying to say that you were wrong. We're done. <laughs> but I think take <laughs> I think that there is there. I mean. So there's I, actually an actual to, definition of it. Well, to me, I guess my point is there's a, a negative connotation to jump scare of it being a cheap gimmick to make you feel frightened right. where they do a loud noise and it's something that's not scary to make you feel suspend, suspended, <laughs> suspenseful. What, what's the word? <laughs> what am I trying to say? Suspensed? Suspensed. No. To make you feel suspensed. I, I don't know if that's real that's definitely not real and uh when i feel like in the shining there are moments that are jump more jump scary but they're legitimately scary as well they're startling but yeah. they're not they're not uh like uh they're not pulling out the rug from underneath you they're not they're not fake scares they're like it's a startling scare, but there's still something scary about what's happening. That that was yeah. all my point. That that's that's all I was saying. Well, either way, I'm I've uh, drank so much caffeine tonight. <laughs> just so you know, I don't mean to interrupt as much as I am, but it's gonna happen worse and worse. So, all 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 this tells me is that for the last twenty years, you've just been drinking this much caffeine. Every day before we've ever had a conversation. Yeah, pretty much. Since childhood. <laughs> it's probably uh, not that far from the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Someone can't handle this coffee. So, okay. So, yeah, I liked uh, all the shining stuff. I thought that was great. Uh, another thing I really liked, I liked the soundtrack. I thought it had some good music. And I thought it went well with the scenes it was being used with. I don't, for um, me, I, soundtracks, music score never sticks out. Score? No, not usually. I, I'm talking about like actual songs, you know? Mm -hmm. like, I, like I couldn't not, even not tell you one stuff. song that that's in it. That doesn't usually, oh really? Yeah, I, I can't uh, remember that at all. My favorite part, I would say, well, my, not my favorite part of the movie, but my favorite song in the scene is when that final battle at the end. Uh huh. And it, they're just playing, we're not gonna take it. Okay. I thought that was, that was yeah. pretty well. Yeah, I remember. I would have, um, if you would have offered me a million dollars to tell you what that song was. Oh, really? I would have never guessed it. No. We're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. I thought it went well with the, with the scene. Um, I liked, I liked all the cheap stuff that you hate. You know, all the, <laughs> just like seeing all the different characters, like, this and that. I, I just like that because in the context of this movie, it, it did make sense to have stuff like that in there. Because if you could be anything, yeah, you would you would see you'd see a lot of that. But you'd probably see like fifty Iron Giants, yeah, and like a, a hundred of each like unique character. Yeah, no, well that that was the point I was going to make was there wasn't enough duplicates. There should have been way more duplicates because that yeah. would definitely be a thing. And they act like items. There's only a single copy of each item, which maybe that's true, but all these characters have these one of a kind items, like multiples. And yeah. it's like, hmm, that doesn't, that doesn't add oh, up. Oh, no. There, there's a lot, like, just in, in the video game logic that doesn't quite make sense, no. but. Yeah. Eh. Um, okay, so I'm trying to think. <laughs> I feel like what you're losing at? steam on your liking. No. I still like it. Right. I, I also liked, um, it, it was still part of the shining spot or part when, when it showed the, what was the name of the company? I, uh, IOI? I, IOI, yeah. 
um, when it showed their group when they were all in The Shining, but it, from the outside perspective, and everyone's like getting scared. S- scared? I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. It was just a little thing. I did. I uh, thought that was shot really well too. When uh, the final, I think it was the final battle, when you'd see like thirty people die, and yeah. you just see all the red lights pop up. Yeah, I thought that was really uh, cool. actually that 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 is one of the it, well, that is actually one of the issues that I had. Ooh, um, not it was too. Okay, so let's say there's a room right where uh-huh. there's like a hundred of these people, mm-hmm. and they're in like a, a ten by ten formation. When something would happen in the game, it was too it didn't make, uniform. It, it was too uniform. Like, yeah. okay, when they they shoot like a laser, right, and it shoots directly through like five of them, and then it sh- it cuts to the outside, and they're all five standing in like a line. Yeah, like that wouldn't happen though. They'd be all over the place, right? Yeah. It it mm-hmm. would have been five sporadic things. Or like when uh, I think it was when I don't know when they bring down. One of the big creatures falls down on like a 20 of them or whatever, and they're all just like in that same group. I get it. It looks better to show like, you know, their lights turning red. Yeah. Like in that, in that pattern, it looks cooler, but it doesn't make sense. No, yeah, I agree. That, that stood out to unless, me too. When unless I was watching they it. legit like were like, okay, you guys have to stay in this formation <laughs> on the field. Do not break formation. I had but seen other than that. I had seen someone complaining that uh, they didn't understand why they would switch out the IOI guys, why they would die yeah. and have to switch out. And my I theory, the my theory was, let's say there's a hundred pods right in that room. Mm-hmm. IOI probably has, let's say, ten thousand workers or something, something much higher, a much higher percentage yeah. than what they're actually using. Because when you die, you have to start over at zero. And so you die, you get, you're basically getting demoted and you have to go back and grind your character up to being Uh, useful to IOI. So when you die, you no longer have your, let's just call it level one status where you're on the main floor working the main mission. You die, Mm -hmm. you go back to level five. Again, I'm making these numbers up. And then you have to start grinding from, you know, the, the beginning and work your way back up to where you're at a level that is useful to the company. And that was my yeah. understanding of all of that. Yeah, that makes sense. I could see that. So, but they would have to um, have a ton, a ton of people, which oh, would make sense because there's not really jobs. Yeah. The, the overhead at this company has got to be exponential. Yeah, that no wonder why they want to do eighty percent ads on your screen. <laughs> oh gosh, that was you see, and I saw that, and I was like, "Come on!" Even it, if I get this world that we live in is driven by ads everywhere, mm. but like, even the villains know there's a point you can't do eighty percent. That's <laughs> just you have to know no one's gonna. That's not gonna work. I don't know. I don't know. Seemed, I have you. That seemed a little crazy. You ever click on blogs? Blogs. Blogs. Yeah. Do you ever read blog articles? <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, no, not typically. <laughs> I shy away from blogs. You there's like forty five ads that pop up per page, and it's no, ridiculous. and that, I I get that, but not. It's different when you're playing a game. Sort of. I mean, that's I, I guess essentially. I've probably played games where it was like that. Yeah. Oh, like mobile games. Mobile games are the yeah, worst. I guess I, I'm thinking more like I'm sitting in my house playing on my PlayStation yeah. type games. Yeah. This is like a web browser almost. Yeah. Ugh. Um. Yeah. So let's see. I liked the soundtrack. I liked the all the references, characters, movies. What did you think about? Wade and his whole crew becoming ninjas in real life at the end of the movie against oh, finale no. against finale. The dumbest name ever. I, every time I heard that name, I was like, Ugh, come on. <laughs> that is so stupid. Um, yeah, no, I didn't care for that. Uh, it didn't whatsoever. make any sense, right? Like why would no, they it- all of a sudden, like, 
I would get maybe one person would know well, martial say, arts. The the one guy, uh, I don't remember his name. The Asian I guy? It was the older brother. Is that what you're trying to say? The Asian guy? You racist. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Your words. Uh, it, that makes sense to me. Cause I it's Asian. Because, because people can learn that, but not all of them. Not all of them, right? Like, if one of them knew martial arts, okay, that's fine. I'm on board with all of them being basically in the matrix. That's way too yeah. much. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, th- like I said, there were some issues, but overall, I thought it was still enjoyable. I think it is a perfect movie to watch and not think about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you just put it on, you're checking your phone, you're paying, playing Candy Crush and you're watching it at the same time. Ugh. <laughs> but you know what I'm Lost saying? Me. Like Candy Crush. <laughs> you you're just like your your attention's divided between like two or three different things. That yeah. movie is perfect for that scenario. Yeah, I would say so. You know what I mean? Cuz there's like enough going on to where like you check in, you're like Oh yeah, that's fun, or this looks cool, or this is exciting, whatever. But for it to be the only thing you're doing, for you to be invested in the story, which is not great, for you to be invested in the characters, which are pretty weak, for you to try to logically put together anything about the story, you're just like, uh, this doesn't add up, this doesn't make sense, and you end up, if you're like me, getting more and more frustrated as you watch it. Yeah. One more note uh, I would make. About how ugly to... his girlfriend is? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> she had that birthmark over her eye, and she acted like she was a monster. Oh, that's classic. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> um, no, is is uh, like how we were saying. It, he should not have been the first person to figure it out. Yeah. The only way that I think that could have worked is had it been not five years since Halliday died and had it just been like two weeks after, right? Yeah. Not even like, so all of a sudden it's like, Oh, now it's this mad dash to, to get this thing figured out. And then like, yeah, okay. I could see maybe he's the first one to figure it out, but not after five years. That doesn't make sense. That's crazy. Yeah. No, five years is insane. All the clues, every puzzle felt very simplistic. Yeah, they didn't seem that difficult. Like they, not only did they not seem difficult when you're watching them, but the, none of the characters seem to really struggle with figuring them out. Yeah, and I mean, are we are we to believe that this dude is the only person who was like obsessed with Halliday and knew his his life? Well, there was other Gunters, which oh, <laughs> I hated that too. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> There, why? Yeah. Why would you call yourself? That sounds like. I don't sounds even, stupid. Yeah. Well, yeah. And like a disease or like. Oh man. Oh, that guy's a gunter. My grandpa. We just found out my grandpa's got gunters. It's, <laughs> no. <laughs> stage three gunters. <laughs> stage three gunters. Oh, it's so dumb. Uh, but yeah. No, I. I I would so, say so Ready Player a, One is a perfect background movie. Like if you go to a party, Ready Player One is on the TV. Like you said, some of the soundtrack is pretty good. The visuals are cool to look at, but you don't have to pay attention to it. Yeah, I'm a hundred percent on board with that. Anything beyond that is probably too much credit for it. Also, Steven Spielberg directed it, and people are talking about that. What did he direct? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, maybe the, the five minutes of outside time. <laughs> yeah, like, and, uh, that wasn't that impressive. Like, I, I know I said that the world looked amazing, but that mm-hmm. it's not necessarily the direction. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it's all Steven Spielberg, but I feel I like that's wonder... more budget than anything else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. It, I don't know. <laughs> I I had another point and now I forgot it. Sorry. I hope you're happy. Nah, not really. Not in general. 
I'm pretty not pretty sad. Quite happy. <laughs> um. Oh dang it! What was it? Ah, I don't know. It's not that important. Yeah. Well, this week coming up on our Patreon, we have the Hunger Games coming out on May sixth. The first mm. Hunger Games, which I would yes. say is the best Hunger Games, for sure. And the Kingsman Golden Circle that I did no, with. That. Ren's Reviews. This is the second time he's been on the podcast. And nice. it was a good time. <sighs> Why'd you say that so weird? I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was a good time. Well, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you a story when we get off the podcast that I can't share on the podcast Ooh, about it. That I was trying to, story. trying to figure out a way around. But, uh, <laughs> that's probably why I said it so weird. <laughs> Um, uh, but yeah, so we just want to say thank you to our sponsors, Boss Play. You can go check them out over at boss-play.com. They're uh, an escape room out in Oceanside, California. Yeah, yeah. You can follow us on Twitter at Pod and like us on Facebook. Woo!